All right, let's talk about three-dimensional imperfections. So three-dimensional imperfections can include things like um, pores, which pour, um, pores are almost, they're almost like bubbles in, in a material, if you will. Like, for example, in my ever-so-precious chalk here, you can see there's these little, look like craters almost. You can see these ones on the surface, but there's other ones inside. These ones are quite big. But there's actually also just throughout this this piece of chalk, tiny little um, pores that we don't really see with our naked eye. I mean, if you look really closely, you could probably see some of the smaller ones. But there's even tinier ones in there as well. So there's there's um, pores like this in, in a lot of ceramic materials. Um, generally, they're not good. Although sometimes we design them in intentionally, so they may be good. They may be uh, detrimental to the behavior, to the material. Um, we can also have uh, pore inclusions in uh, metal castings. Um, okay. Another type of imperfection, though, is um, which is probably more pertinent to our discussion, is what we call second phase particles. And this is, you know, uh, a little bit of a difficult concept to understand. But we're going to look at this in, in a bit more detail later. I could give you an example, like Fe3C in steel. So this is an iron carbide phase in steel. So say this steel washer on this, this clamp here, uh, it's got a chrome uh, finish on it, but this, this underlying material is steel. And <clears throat> that um, steel washer undoubtedly has some iron carbide phases in it. And so what happens with those is very much like what we saw with a grain boundary. You know, we have these, this regular lattice of atoms <clears throat> and I'm just trying to it's not the greatest lattice I've ever drawn but you get this regular repeating arrangement of atoms and then all of a sudden you've got some you know some different phase that might have a different crystal structure and I'm just indicating still a, a you know square lattice but um, I'm trying to indicate that it's different with a different color and different size so there's now this um, different material present within the within the lattice of if this is our example that could be the iron and this could be the Fe3C for example and so this is known as a second phase and these are really really common um, and in fact we can use them use this interface as a means of strengthening the material so aluminum a lot of aluminum alloys are um, strengthened through what's known as precipitation hardening. So we do a very careful heat treatment on the, on the aluminum to cause the little second phase particles to come out of solution. Much like sugar precipitates out of honey if you leave it for many months, we can do the same sort of thing in the solid state. It's beautiful with um, aluminum and some other alloys. And as those second phase particles precipitate out, they interfere with dislocation movement and increase the strength. So one thing to note about these second phase particles is this, that they are often hard phases. That is, they have a high strength. So that, what happens with that? Well, that makes it extra hard, <laughs> extra challenging, I'll say, um, for a dislo dislocation to traverse or for dislocation movement. So much the same concepts as we saw previously for a dislocation moving across a regular in our grain boundary. Now it's moving. It's got to change direction, to uh, navigate all these things that, that the boundary. In addition, though, it's harder for the dislocation to move in this second phase because it's got a high strength often because they're often these compounds, um, sometimes carbides, for example, which are quite hard. You might go to the Home Depot, Home Depot, a uh, hardware store. And you look at some tools and you'll often see, oh, carbide coating or something like that. Those you know, ionic materials like that are often quite hard um, and uh, can be used by engineers to make a material stronger. All right. Fantastic. Thanks a lot.